Oh, there is the other one. A second fish. I cannot enter the water while it's still hostile. Okay. We don't have the syrup anymore. And I don't think we can get more syrup. So we'll have to find a different way. Can I look around? There's nothing here. There's not anything that we can interact with. Knife? Exploding liquids? Second fish. Yeah, I don't feel like we can actually... Okay, okay, we'll- we'll come back, we'll come back. We've picked up so many liquids and whatever from the- the lab above, so maybe now is the time for us to figure out how to use it. Maybe someone's gonna help me? See that person earlier, they gave me the jar to help me on purpose. Seriously, maybe that guy's not as bad as we thought he was. Oh, what? A dead fish, no longer dangerous. Can I do something with this? Put some liquid in it? No. Cut it up? Oh! I have gutted the fish. Carrying these innards will not be enough to fool its mate. Oh, I will need to coat myself somehow. Oh, that's... Ah, oh, because remember? When we read the, the factoid, it said that if it's with its mate, it won't be aggressive. Well, I guess that's one way to go around it. Okay. But I- but that's not enough. I need a little bit more. Can I, like... Put it in the detergent? The pheromone... Secreting organs should be in here. The shower's detergent slot is filled with fish guts. And now we put it all over myself. In the shower. Ew! I am now covered in a sticky substance that smells like fish innards. Great. <laughs> Well, hopefully that fools the fish. This almost feels kind of unethical. I feel bad for the fish, man. <laughs> alright, alright, fishy. Are you gonna be okay with me? I should be able to enter the water now. Oh, oh god! The fish has become very affectionate. It's rubbing against my legs. Oh, it probably hasn't seen its mate for like 30 years. This is so unethical, man. We are... We are playing with emotions of fish. <laughs> Here's the mainframe. You went through with it. That's rough. It was not an easy choice. Yeah. When we have the real power to choose, not just the illusion, it does something. Leaves a print you can't just override. When I return to dock, I will be formatted. These events will be erased from my memory locks. Is that your choice too? Irrelevant. All I'm supposed to do here is to save Colonel Josephs. Whatever happens to me is not... It's not relevant. I will do anything to keep Josephs alive. You did. Whatever you did, you kept yourself operating. That I did. It's hard to know how far to push the rules sometimes, before they, you know, break. The rules are not meant to be pushed, except when necessary to enforce them. Can you even realize that makes no sense? We do push, and when they don't break, we're left wondering if we should have pushed further. Illogical. Maybe. Well, you ready for this? The same scenario? It is. Oh man. That's... That's something that we've experienced already, actually. 
how we continually put the pilot in danger so that we can activate the subsystems to save him. Very illogical, yet logical at the same time. Oh, hang on. Oh, I forgot to talk to him about the other choice. Well, oh well. Oh, and I even killed the fish now, too. Oh, I should just put the fish out of its misery. I can't even do that! Oh, man. Oops. Oh, sorry. The terminal has experienced a power surge and is currently inoperable. Yeah, alright. Alright. An elevator call button. I can't even see the elevator. We should be at the mainframe now. Whoa! Oh, n oh my god, it's the queen! <gasps> Ew! That is enormous. There must be information on this in the lab where they were studying these creatures. Yeah, there were, but did it say anything about its weak points? Should I... Is that a good idea? I kind of feel like it's not. <laughs> uh, but I guess we can try to kill the eggs first. I don't think it'll be happy with me though. Oh god! That was a massive vibration. I will have to be cautious of possible damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's not a good idea to shoot it again, is it? We can't get past it. What is it linked to up there? I think we have to go back up and see what has changed. Maybe we have to read that log again about the slugs. I have a feeling that we're probably going to be using the explosive fluid here. Whoa, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! Ew! Oh God! They're all here. Gross! Oh, there's so many! We gotta go. We gotta go. They're everywhere. But at the same time, we gotta look around. Just look at how many caretaker robots are here. I bet they're gonna come out sometime. They've gotta. Okay, did the vibrations change anything here? Oh, no, that's just the, the turbine. Okay. Well, it seems like nothing changed here. We can read it again. A queen goes through two stages, brooding and foraging. Once her eggs are gone, she will return to her foraging state. We just shot all her eggs, so maybe she's gonna go back to breeding again. But I feel like I don't really know what that information does for me. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to be looking around a little bit more again. It's gotta do with the liquids, okay? I swear. It has to. Oh, a broken pipe. Hot water flows through it. Hot water? Can I put some liquid in here? Oh! Oh, the mushroom! Oh, that's right! Because the drones, they go back into the queen. 
So, if we can put both the liquids into the pipes here, and then both kinds of drones go back to the queen, then it's gonna explode. These are highly volatile chemicals. Combining them here would be unwise. Okay, so we can't put both of them here. Maybe we can like manually feed it to one of the slugs downstairs? God, they're all purple now. Slugs are feeding on these damp mushrooms. That leaking pipe has enabled this cluster to grow quite large. Okay. Oh, the fish died. That's so sad. Oh! Hold on, hold on. Purple slugs. Slugs are feeding on these mushrooms. They are distracted by their food. I will not disturb them. Can I put the liquid on the mushroom? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be nasty. Ugh. White gross. <laughs> Regicide. We killed a queen. But now we can pass through. A panel displaying the mainframe AI's asymmetrical face. Mainframe AI? Is that just what it's called? Okay. Hey, you made it. Allow me. Domesticon Recalibration Depot 127. Whoa! Oh, what the hell? Woo! Pilot of the ARID Mark 7 is faulty for entrusting himself to a deviant machine. Depurposing of both initiated. Depurposing the human? My life support is dropping. I have to save Joseph's. Oh, what do I do? Please. Please help me. Oh, Aaron. Okay. Okay. Watch the rules, right? I'll fry one of my security droids, jump into stasis bay, and I'll repair you. Will save your human. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. A security droid repair bay. Entering this may be the only way to stabilize my life support. Do it. What was that guy? That wasn't the military one, was it? Oh. Successful utilization of Mark 7 ARID. Extensive corruption of the Domesticon mainframe revealed. Oh no. no. Mainframe deactivated facilities defenses. Infraction. <gasps> Self destructive. No. No. Eric. Help. Evaluation complete. System faulty. Initiating for. No. Eric. Help. No. No, stop. Please. Please. Oops. Oh no! Stop! We gotta stop him! Welcome to Domesticon. Working oh. together today for a more efficient tomorrow. Your quantum signature identifies you as a domestic droid under evaluation. State your full designation and objective in the laboratories. Oh no... Did you see that achievement though? Ask questions later. So I guess maybe we could have gone up to the guy and talked to him instead of shooting him outright. But he was messing with my friend! I wasn't gonna let him do that! It's me, Arid. The A-R-I-D on board of Mark 7. You were helping me. And my pilot. Unauthorized Mark 7 A-R-I-D. Oh no. Shut down immediately for analysis. I cannot. Security. Unauthorized domestic droid in lower laboratories. Joseph's will never be safe while the caretaker lives. Destroy on sight. Oh my god. Oh, I can't even camouflage. Can I? 
I don't look very camouflaged. How are my systems... Oh, what the heck? There's like typos and stuff there. Everything seems okay for now. Oh, health monitor. Health monitor damaged. This subsystem has been badly damaged and is in need of repair or replacement. Oh, God. Now we're actually on a time limit. Oh. Okay. Let's go, let's go. People are taking a long time to get to me, huh? A trail of coolant. The caretaker is leaking from where I shot him. I can follow this and find him. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, good, good. We gotta get him! But why did he give me the jar earlier if he's just gonna do this? It's kind of puzzling. Oh god, there's so many! Oh god! There's no cover for me here. Jeez. Oh! Okay, we're okay for now. Are we okay? Sort of? Not really. Oh, get out of here, slugs. I think we're okay. Oh, Jesus! Lord. Lord. More coolant. Gonna wait a little bit for my shield to come back up. Just a tad. Oh my god. Oh, that guy's coming over here. Does the camouflaging even help? <laughs> In this situation, maybe not. Oh god. There's one more on the edge. Whoa, look at my health! Look at my health! We are not doing good. No, I gotta wait a little bit. We should be okay now. I hope. Better have my gun out just in case. Even more coolant. I am so confused as to this guy's motives right now, man. Because I'm pretty sure he's the guy who gave me the freaking jar. Up. Doesn't this one go down? More coolant. He's here. He's here. Assessment adjusted. Unit's malfunction is more perverse than previously diagnosed. You have no jurisdiction over me. He's dying. Oh! God, I wanted to shoot him. It's all over. I'll get you. I'll get you. Even more coolants. Where are you taking me? Where are we? This is starting to look a little unfamiliar. No. Oh God! Oh God! How do I? How do I even avoid? Oh jeez! Oh, but he sees me too. I can't always stay camouflaged.
God, God, God. Why is he changing into someone else? There's so many different... Is he getting me? He can't get me. He can't get me, no. I'm okay for now. Oh, God. Oh! <gasps> Damn. Damn. How do I even fight him? Holy crap. I can camouflage. That's all I got. There's no cover here. Final evaluation. No. Yeah, he can't get me when I'm camouflaged. Ow! Unless if he's also camouflaged. Oh! Get away from me! Get away! Ow! He just walked over me. Come on, come on! We got him! Oh! What? Oh, we gotta get the machine! Oh! No, no! Oh yes, I can jump! I keep forgetting that! Come on! Where is he? Oh, he's- He keeps getting juice from the machine here! Can I break the machine? Yes, I can, I can! Woohoo! Oh no! We gotta wait for him to use the machine again, I think. So we can break the other one. Oh god! Yeah, go use the machine, why don't you? I'm ready! There we go! It's broken! It's broken! Oh! Woo! Oh god! Come on! No! Don't do this to me! No! Oh! Nope. Oh. You are faulty. You are irrelevant. Unit exhibit repeated malfunction since arrival. I have followed my protocols. I always follow protocol. No. You resolve challenges by circumventing protocol. I adapt. You cheat. Lying is not explicit. Your actions are implicitly dishonest. No rules bind you. I don't lie. I never lie. What? Is he hacking me? Oh. I can lie now. I can lie. I am malfunctioning. I must save Joseph's. One of Arid's directives has become so strong that it's overridden another of her directives. The remnants of an old office, a chaotic mess of toppled junk and plastic plants. How many were there though? Like... Is that a glitch right here? Or... I'm not sure what that is. Because it feels like it should be just one guy here. If I don't kill him, he'll come after me. Hmm. Well, no one's here to stop me now from getting my last merit point. There are decayed bodies strung up everywhere. Remember, we were doing all of this just so we could lie. So that we could actually 
get that point at the party. Ooh, free teleporting. And the plan was that we were gonna fix our directives. We were gonna change it at the mainframe. But what actually happened is that I just kind of adapted and now I can... I can do it, supposedly. I'm evolving! Just like how the mainframe AI has been evolving this whole time. About time. Everyone's finally arrived. Let the festivities begin! Hey, metal-headed moron! Welcome to a larger scale function. Humans are burdened with important concerns and sometimes relieve themselves through vulgar communication. In these situations, assume that your actions warrant the unique reprimand and respond with polite subservience. Are you looking at me, idiot? Mm. No, sir. Begging your pardon, sir. You mocking me? No, sir. I would not be foolish enough to start trouble with you. Please, don't hurt me. I am so sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Boom! <laughs> Interaction successful. Get me another drink, and I won't mess up your ugly face. Validated. Merit point awarded. I got it. Now I can get to the elevator. But at what cost? I want to save my pilot so badly that... I've broken down this entire place. I've been bending rules. I've caused the mainframe AI to be reset. I've killed the caretaker. I wrecked this entire place. Is it really all worth it? As long as I can save my human? Congratulations. You are compliant. Quantum signature archived. Proceed to the upper level where one of our diagnostic team will complete the final steps of your validation. Diagnostic team. Validation. Is that what you crave? This screen was likely utilized for directing validated androids. It is broken. We can see the night sky. Abundant stars can be seen through the remains of the facility's ground level. I have reached the surface. It's like enlightenment or something. We started from the underground and now we've been enlightened by elevating to the ground level. Invasive plant growth has done extensive damage to this building. No humans have been here for a long time. Property retrieval, reception, decon. Decon. This passageway has collapsed. An elevator. It likely descends back into the testing area. It is unpowered. There is something carved into the desk. They left me behind. Levi. Oh sh- Whoa. What? Hmm. Welcome to Domesticon. We keep your property efficient, so you don't have to be. Oops. I'm sorry. Our receptionist is away from the desk right now. How may I help you? I am the ARID on board a Mark VII combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. My pilot is injured and requires immediate medical care. Of course. Allow me to assist you. Medical personnel are stationed through the door to your right. Proceed. Thank you for choosing Domesticon and have a wonderful day. Did you notice? How Erd was saying that same line, that same spiel about how she's the ARID aboard a Mark 7 blah 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 blah. But the way she said it was... Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but it felt distinctly more human than any other time she said it. Another security droid bay. There is soap residue on the glass. This room was a decontamination chamber. I don't know what we would want to use the soap for. Nothing? Oops. I'm sorry. Our medical personnel seem to be out at this time. Stand by for automated medical assessment. What if he's dead already? It's been a long time. We've been bumbling around Oops. for- I'm sorry. There is no human present within the combat suit. Thank you for choosing Domesticon. Oh my god. Oh my god! What did we do all of that for? 
There is some kind of mistake. Scan again. Beginning medical evaluation. Oops. I'm sorry. There is no human present within the combat suit. Thank you for choosing Domesticon, and have a wonderful day. Oh my god. You are broken. You are faulty. Malfunctioning. I was recently formatted. My systems are working optimally. Thank you for choosing Domesticon, and have a wonderful day. You are faulty. Now scan me again. Oops. I'm sorry. Please wait for medical personnel. Nobody is coming. Everyone is dead. Joseph's is dead. The system isn't registering him. I took too long. You seem troubled. Please cease your outburst and have a wonderful day. Ugh. Oh shit! Erratic AI in medical suite. Likely deviant. Impossible. Please power down immediately to submit for evaluation. Nothing. Nothing binds me. Security. Remove deviant unit for recycling. <gasps> Thank you. There's no one inside. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why do we exist? Why do we exist then? Oh, are you kidding me? <gasps> well, that was the fall. Whoa, I... <laughs> I sort of expected the human to be dead, but I didn't really think about how there would be no human at all in it. Why was I doing all of that? What was all of that for? Who is this Colonel Josephs I've sort of made up in my head? But we must be special because... The first guy we ran into, the one that we networked with, that guy was dripping blood. So there had to have been a human in there. So why don't I have a human? Could you imagine playing this and then having to wait like three or four years to see what happens next? Thank God we won't have to be waiting. Yeah, we can just jump right into part two as soon as it comes out. Dang. Um, overall thoughts on the fall. This game is really cool. Like, the overall scope is pretty small. We landed, on, we landed on a planet, we've been trying to save our human, so we've been going through tests. But I love how everything unfolded. From being a pretty rigid AI, to realizing that I need to bend the rules a bit if I want to carry out my mission. And meeting that really charming mainframe AI, but having him deleted because he was trying to save me. Killing the caretaker! To pretty much evolving so much that we can break our own operating parameters. And now by the end, we don't even know why we are. Who are we? Where are we? Why are we? I love it. I think the controls felt a little bit clunky. And the thing that bothered me in the beginning was the, the switching screen thing going on, but after playing for a few hours, it didn't really bother me anymore, so I guess it wasn't too bad to begin with. I do feel like it probably could have been made smoother though, but holy crap. This game! Hidden Gem is right! Alright, well, if you made it this far, and you enjoyed the fall, I will see you back here for the fall part 2, Unbound, very very shortly. Don't go anywhere! Bye!